You know, of all the possible blades to add into this game, Newt may seem like one of the strangest. She's a fire element who uses a katana, normally known for being an evasion-based weapon class, and that puts her directly at odds with Bridget who fills the same kind of niche and is a required story blade. However, despite being a katana blade, Newt doesn't actually have a heavy focus on evasion and has her own unique identity as a more face tank type katana blade, and actually has some unique tools that make her unique and stand out as a blade. Just today, in fact, I learned one of her skills has a massive mistranslation, and the real skill is actually much better, and makes Newt actually a good blade option to consider. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Newt, discussing all of her strengths and weaknesses, and seeing how to use her most effectively. And as always, if you enjoy my content, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel as I will be continuing to make more guide content for the series, as well as other interesting topics. Let's get into it. So Newt is a katana class weapon. This means she is a tank blade and has some pretty good stats all around. Her auto attack stat can reach nearly 1400, and her critical hit rate maxes out at 50% with the Moon Matter Core Chip. Her block rate can also be reasonably high should you want it, and unlike other katana blades, it could actually be an okay stat on her, so Dilaton could be the move if you don't care about damage and crit rate as much. Her physical defense is 30%, and ether defense is 25%, giving her some solid defensive potential and damage mitigation just from her base stats. Her stat mod is a huge 20% max HP mod, tied for the highest stat mod a rare blade can give in the game, and makes her driver all the more resilient. She does have the weakness of a cooldown of 3, which is among the worst in the game, but it isn't all that bad overall, especially if you don't care about switching. Let's take a look at her skill tree. Newt's first skill is Flowers of War. This will increase aggro gain from auto attacks by 30% at level 1 and 50% at level 5. To be honest, this isn't a very good skill. Auto attack damage for almost every blade is pretty low, and you can get much more aggro just from dealing damage with arts and specials. Plus, with decent enough art recharge, you aren't likely to be auto attacking all that much anyway. This skill isn't going to add all that much to Newt's aggro generation, and just using higher damage options will get you more aggro than just auto attacking ever would, so this skill doesn't even feel like it's really that useful overall. It's easily her worst skill, but that's okay, because her second skill is very, very good. Last line of defense. The description of this skill says it reduces damage from enemies within a 5 meter radius by 20% and then 40%. If you read this skill, you would think it would be Newt only, and only work if she's close to an enemy. That is completely wrong, and this is one of the worst translations I have ever seen. There's been some confusion about this skill for a while, since oftentimes it seemed like Newt would take the same damage regardless of distance from the enemy. What this skill actually does is completely reduce all damage Newt takes by 40%. No matter where she is, she will always get this damage reduction. I've done the math on it and compared it to damage she takes from attacks compared to blades with similar base defensive values, and she takes reduced damage for sure. What the 5 meter radius actually means is a 5 meter radius around Newt herself. Essentially, this ability can be party wide. A 5 meter radius extends from Newt, and if you are standing close enough to Newt with your other party members, they will also take reduced damage. As an example, look at how much damage I take from this Twin Barrel Auto Cannon when I'm far away from Newt, and see how much damage gets cut when I get closer. This affects all sources of damage and is actually extremely powerful since it's a 40% damage reduction that can be applied to everyone in the entire party. I didn't know it worked like this until I tested it out today, nor did anyone else, but this is a very powerful defensive ability. Gorg's damage reduction is only 20% and requires max affinity. This is 40%, and the only requirement is that you stand close to Newt. Sure, standing right next to your ally may not always be great, but it can be a very nice ability to have, and the fact that Newt always gets this 40% damage reduction makes her easily one of the tankiest blades in the entire game, especially so when she has a built-in evasion art on every driver too. All around, this is an excellent skill, but a horrible translation. Newt's final skill is Tranquil Guard. This adds a 30% chance to nullify all reactions at level 1, rising up to 70% at level 5. This one is also a bit poorly translated because it also affects stuff like knockback and blowdown, but basically Newt has a 70% chance to resist any kind of combo or reaction an enemy does, which not only makes her resilient, but also hard to interrupt and makes her able to function very well as a tank. If you don't have to worry about break or topple or anything like that, you can be very, very effective. This is another very solid skill overall, and if her first skill was just some kind of good damage increase, she could be a very, very good blade overall. Her lack of damage is probably her main weakness, but her tanking ability and even support is some of the best in the game. Let's take a look at her specials. Newt's level 1 special is Flaming Slash Wave. It is a single hit, ether based special with pretty fast speed. 
The positives basically end there. The damage ratio is the standard average you may expect of 300 at level 1, 460 at level 5, and 480 at max affinity. And the bonus effect is just increasing aggro gain, which isn't really all that great of an effect over a damage increase. If it has any positives, it is a fast special for a quick fire combo, but it's not really all that great outside of that. Newt's level 2 special is Immolating Cleave. This is another single hit special, but it's physical based this time, and it's also very slow for a single hit special. It does have a small area of effect you can use, and the damage ratio is actually pretty good at 440 at level 1, 600 at level 5, and 638 at max affinity. The bonus effect is increasing damage to launch enemies, which is okay if you have driver combo support, but it's not the best damage increase overall, and it isn't likely to be useful in most situations. All around, it's another unspectacular special, and not one you'd want to focus on. Newt's level 3 special is Extreme Gutsy Spirit. This is a 12 hits physical special of slightly below average speed. It has a pretty massive hit count, which can be nice in certain situations, and the damage ratio is pretty high at 600 at level 1, 760 at level 5, and 816 at max affinity. And it also comes with a 50% critical hit modifier, making critical hits very easy to get with this move. It even has a 100% chance to annul guard, which is pretty nice overall for ensuring you can get those crits no matter what. It's still not the best bonus effect, but it's at least something, and this is probably her best special of her standard 3 to use for damage. Newt's level 4 special is Going Ballistic. On the upside, this special has a good damage ratio of 1075 and a 40% critical hit modifier, making it decent enough for damage because of that. On the downside, it's one of those level 4 specials without any kind of bonus effect, which is pretty sad overall. Not going to be getting anything extra out of it, but it's still a decent option for level 4, for damage, and for invincibility, and for fusion combo setups, and those are always nice. And all around, her specials aren't all that impressive, but she's not really all about her specials anyway. More about being a solid, unkillable tank that can increase the tankiness of the entire team. And in that role, she excels. For courtship, I'm running the Moon Matter chip because I value crit rate heavily on katanas, and it has a pretty good auto attack stat. The bonus effect of the Takian isn't very good overall, and the Dilaton just loses a bit too much damage and crit rate for me, but they can still be alright options. My aux cores this time around are Affinity Max Attack because Newt seems need some form of damage increase if she ever hopes to keep aggro, and Affinity Max Barrier to make the party just that much harder and more annoying to kill. Night Vision is always good, and since Newt is a Katana, she can still be made evasive if you choose to do so. For accessories, I'm running a Lightened Loincloth because it's a great damage increase in this case since I'm using her on Rex, and we need as much damage as we can get, along with the Crimson Headband because it synergizes extremely well with her high critical hit rate and functions as a very strong independent multiplier. My final accessory is the Avant Guard Medal, so Newt can be a completely unkillable with her tankiness and self-regen. Survivor's Footgear could be considered on the highest difficulties against the toughest enemies if you want to be even more unkillable, and more damage can be used here if you don't think you need the safety of the Avant Guard Medal. It's all up to you! For my pouch setup, I'm running a mix of Art Recharge and Party Meter for being two of the best effects possible, and for being very useful on Katana Blades that have the longer Art cooldowns but good effects like Evasion. With all that done, let's take a look at how to use Newt practically. So Newt's main strength as a blade is her ability to take drastically reduced damage and ability to basically nullify most reactions from enemies. This gives her a lot of use against certain enemies that just do a lot of damage or might try to combo you with certain effects like knockback, blowdown, and the full driver combo. She can just be very good to nullify basically all of that. She doesn't have too hard of a time getting aggro despite not having the most damage just because you can build her up for that and not have to worry that much about it. And even if she doesn't have aggro, you can actually have her stand close to her allies to make them take reduced damage, so they're not in that much of danger anyway, which can always be a nice thing to do. And being a fire element, she can combo pretty well with other earth elements to set up volcano damage over time effects with our level 4 special if you really want to. The fusion combos there can get some decent damage over time effects even with her not having the most damage in the world. And overall, just her ability to just... Uh, Nullify damage is going to be very, very clutch. If you know about Ultra Annihilation Flare, Tyranitite, and Ultimate move, it usually is just a one-shot move on most blades in the game. However, with Newt's 40% damage reduction that she can also give to her entire party, if I just go and stand next to my allies here, which is what I'm going to do here, I can just cut the damage very significantly on blades that are normally offensive here. They all completely survive without any issue at all, and that is uh, one of the very powerful things Newt can do. 
And um, that's just something you can keep in mind if you're controlling it. If you want to go stand next to your allies to make sure they don't take that much damage, you can freely do that and have no issues at all. Newt herself, like I said, she's not really about the damage herself, but if you can manage to maintain aggro on Newt, you can be very, very effective for the party as a very effective tank. Just in general, challenge mode missions can be much, much easier with Newt. Like, even Dino Drama, one of those challenges that you have to beat to unlock Shulk and Fjord, and all rest can be made much, much easier with someone like Newt, because you can just face tank all the little side enemies that spawn as you're dealing damage to the main Goliath Soros, which is uh, one of her main benefits in any kind of fight like this. I think Newt is particularly powerful just in general, especially on like some of the um, higher difficulty challenges. You can just um, basically nullify a lot of damage that enemies would deal to you that um, like bring your chaos challenge mode normally you'd have to worry about a lot of the really strong damage that enemies have, but with Newt that's not really an issue at all. I think with her lack of damage, Newt synergizes very well with Dagus, and um, she works pretty well with Tora, but everyone works really well with Tora just because of the way he can just enable and set up pretty much everyone, so that's always a wonderful thing Tora offers to the team, I think. Anything you can do to increase Newt's damage and make sure she gets aggro so she can really take advantage of her 40% damage reduction can be very, very useful to have, and um, even though evasion is probably still a better method of tanking, this is still something that is, can be very, very useful in the right situation. And especially being able to just increase the tankiness of your party member members can be invaluable in a lot of situations as well. Like, just standing next to your, your allies if they manage to get aggro off you can help them just actually function as a tank themselves and not die in situations they might have otherwise, which can actually make her more useful as a tank blade that doesn't have all that much damage than other options. It's certainly a lot better than pretty much all the shield hammers in this game. And it's not like Nude is screwed when it comes to damage either, because being a Katana, she can get a high crit rate, decent auto attack stat, and you can stack some damage multipliers to make her hurt a decent amount. I just do wish her auto attack aggro skill was just a little bit better, maybe a damage increase there would make her significantly more useful overall. Her immunity to reactions like lowdown, knockback, and stuff like that, not complete immunity, but like 70% resistance to it, is just very, very valuable in a lot of situations you wouldn't think it would be. There's a lot of enemies that are really, really troll about like just driver comboing you or blowdown and knockback and interrupting your actions, and uh, Newt doesn't really have to worry about that nearly as much, and that can make her actually function pretty well as an effective tank, just being able to ignore that and continue attacking, among other things. And I think that's one of the other strengths of Newt overall. Her damage reduction combined with self-healing like with an avant-garde metal can make her nearly impossible to kill, and if you team her up with someone like Gorg or something, you can truly make a nearly unkillable team with just something like that, and uh, get those harder difficulty challenges out of the way if you're still struggling with them, if you don't want to use evasion or something like that, this can be a, an effective strategy for sure. So yeah, I, I think Newt's a very good blade, I think I might have underrated her a bit because I didn't understand what that skill did because of the terrible translation, but now that I understand that she always gets the 40% damage reduction and can apply that to her allies just by standing near them, I think that makes her a much more appealing blade overall. I guess as an example of just how useful her damage reduction is, I'll try to show off one of these Bringer of Chaos challenges really briefly here. I don't want to spend too much time on it, though, because I feel like we'll just be here for a long time if I ended up doing that. But, um, so my ally my partner here is Daga, so we don't have the greatest driver combo in here, but Newt can break with Rex, so that is something we can do. And this is Bringer of Chaos, Gladiator Ryan, um, and, um, Gyphus Remington, and, um, basically I wanted to just show this off that, um, uh, because, um, with Dual Slash being a decent evasion arc to block things that are really, really dangerous, or even my level 4 special things are really bad, you can kind of see just how useful it is to have a blade like Nuke who can just cut so much damage. She can actually just eventually push through the health bar of these two, even on like the hardest difficulty with just Daga as her um, supported blade right here. And I'm going to try to show that off. I'm not going to show the full fight, but I'm just going to show off how you can eventually do this without that much issue because the damage reduction really is just that powerful and it's just really tanky as a blade in general. The max HP mod helps, everything really comes together to help, especially in a challenge like this because Orion has some really nasty driver combos and uh, slowdown effects and stuff like that which can affect you and Newt's able to just immune all most of that which is very very useful overall. As I already said her main weakness is just the uh, lack of damage she has naturally, like doesn't really have anything on her skill tree, but just she has a lot of really good effects overall that I think actually can make her a pretty valuable team member despite that. And um, yeah, I think Newt's a pretty solid blade, I mean. 
I'm not gonna show off this full fight. I've already said that, but I just wanted to show off how we're kind of just going through his health bar without too many issues here um, until Zeke manages to get aggro and get soloed there by um, Orion. There, that is the one weakness, though. If your if your allies do get aggro, they can they can definitely go down much easier here. But uh, that's my fault for not paying attention to Zeke and seeing that he has aggro right now. If I was paying attention, I would have targeted Orion to make sure I could get it back. And even though he dies, I've got plenty of party meter to revive him. Minute by herself isn't really struggling that heavily, so it's not really the biggest deal in the world. And uh, Nude herself is not taking that much damage even on Bring Your Chaos, and that's just kind of what I wanted to show off here. So yeah, Nude's a very good blade, and I think I, she might be one of the blades I've underrated the most, just mostly because of the bad translations on her skill tree. But um, yeah, I think overall she's very, very solid. I think her design's pretty cool, the eye in the back of her head, the huge arms that she uses. I, th I think those are pretty cool features about Newt. I think that's going to cover it for this video, so I really hope you guys have learned something. And if you did and you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below about your favorite aspect of Newt and who you want to see next. With all that being said, I do thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate all of the support. And as always, have a very blessed day. I'll see you back soon.